Children in the country, you know. Yes, and a lot of them die. But a lot of them don't. I'm sorry, but it has to be said. How far to the nearest doctor? Ten miles. Why, are you feeling unwell? Ten miles. And the baby's due in midwinter. It's out of the question. He's a good doctor. Where is he? When he's sober. It's out of the question. Don't keep saying it's out of the question. Kostya doesn't want to go to Moscow. He was born here. On that very couch. Good sake. He wants our baby to be born here. A man shouldn't have opinions about such things. To hear him the other evening talking about breastfeeding, your father would turn in his grave. Daddy's dead. I think you might have told us. You know what I mean? For a man to talk about nipples at the dinner table. <laughs> <laughs> not come and see you. I'm so glad you did. Princess? Alexi, will you help with the bags? I'm so pleased you're here. Thank you. I want to talk to you. I need your help. You're the only one of Anna's friends who's come to see us here. It upsets her terribly. I know your position in society is a hard I don't care about society. I don't know whether what we did was right or wrong, but I'm afraid of what's to come. Please. We have a baby. I hope we'll have more, but my daughter is not mine by law. She belongs to Karenin. If we had a son, he would be a Karenin too. He wouldn't be heir to my name or any of this. No matter how many children we have, they won't be mine. I try to talk to Anna, but she gets angry. I love her. I'm happy here, but you understand? Yes, of course. He said he'd give her a divorce. He told Steva, if only she'd write to him. I understand it's painful for her, but I think he'd say yes. Talk to her. Try to persuade her. I'll try. Oh, aren't you gorgeous? Okay. Yes, you are. If yes, excuse she me, I'll see you both at dinner. Yes, she's almost walking now. Oh, come on, Dan. Goodness. Come on. How many teeth does she have? Four, well, I think. More than that, surely. Sometimes I feel like I'm not really needed here. Did everything for Seriosha. I'm so glad you're here. I don't know where to start. I need to tell you everything. Can I hold her? Of course. Oh, no, darling. I must just talk to Cook about dinner. I want everything to be perfect.
last. I've got you to myself. We're usually alone here. I love that when we're together, but... When he goes away, even if it's just to the races for a day... I'm glad you had a talk. What did he say? He wants to marry you. He wants to give you and the children his name. Children? What children? Well, Annie, and those that will come. <laughs> I shan't have any more children. Well, how do you know? What gives me the right to have any more children? Remember, I'm not his wife. I keep him as long as love lasts. And how am I going to keep him? Not like that. I know. I look at my own body sometimes. No wonder Steve oh, But that's over now, isn't it? I don't know. We're in such debt, I don't know where the money goes, if not on other women. I can't help wondering if I did the right thing, staying with him. I love him. I don't respect him. I need him. I put up with him. Sometimes I... I imagine myself having a romance like yours, where the man really loves me. And I confess everything to Steve. The look on his face. If you're divorced, you can marry. He said he'd divorce. It doesn't mean anything. He's a liar. Since I've come back from Italy, he refuses to let me see my son, even on his birthday. Oh, Anna, I... <laughs> and Alexi wants me to write to him. Well, will you? Well, what's the point? Either he'll write me a sanctimonious letter refusing, or I'll say yes and I'll never see my son again. Well, how can I choose? Yeah, I, I love them both. Both the same. Both more than life itself. And one excludes the other. Having a baby in Moscow. Oh, I thought you would somehow. <laughs> Alexi? Yes? Either we live together or we separate. What? I mean it. I don't want to be the sort of wife who waits alone in the country for her husband to come back from town. He never knows where he is or who he's with or what he's doing. You say wife, you say husband, and that's how we live here, but... But in Moscow, a divorce is necessary, I know. Yes, Anna, it is. All right, then. I'll write to him. You sound as if you're threatening me. It's what I want. If I write to him, he'll take me with you. 
We'll wait together in Moscow. Yes. Constantine, there you are. Welcome to our Temple of Idols. Vodka? Your good health. Gentlemen, with the compliments of Count Vronsky. We met once before, I think. The uh, Princess Shembatskaya. Yes. Oh, come on, is that it? This man's one of my very best friends. You, you're even more dear to me. I'm ready to be friends. Come on. Well, then, there's nothing else for it. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. Uh, you know, I love my sister. This man's never met her. Really? Mm. I wanted to meet him. She'd like me. But I, I can't go home yet. I can't leave Yashville. Why, is he losing? No, he's winning, but the trick is to get him to quit while he's still ahead. <laughs> but excuse me. More vodka. <laughs> I'm so pleased. I feel as if I've known you such a long time. Partly because of your friendship with Steve, partly because of your wife. Don't know her very well. She seemed to me to be like a flower, a lovely flower. And soon she's going to be a mother. <clears throat> Congratulations. Why? So, you've been to the club? Mm-hmm. Did you see Alexi? Yeah, she's trying to drag Yashvin away from the tables. You know she's written a wonderful book? Steva. It's true. A children's book, written for Seriosha. She read it to me once, I showed it to a, a publisher at the club. He said it was remarkable. May I look at it? Yes, of course. based on a story my old nurse used to tell me. You had a peasant nurse? Yes. So did I. It's beautiful. He's a lucky boy. No. He's not. Well, what do you think? She's wonderful. <laughs> and not because she's beautiful, though, and God knows she is, but because she's so honest. I feel for her. Hopefully everything will be settled soon. I'll walk.
Did Steve and Levin call? Yes. What do you think of him? I liked him. <laughs> Steve said you had to stay to keep an eye on Yashvin. <laughs> what a terrible passion <laughs> what the is. What happened? Hmm. He was up 17,000. Tried to make him come away, and the last I saw him, he was down 20,000. What's the good of staying with him, then? I wanted to stay, so I stayed. If only you knew what it makes me feel to see you look at me like that. Anna. Anna, tell me what I can do to make it easier for you. I'm sorry. Not for you. I don't mean for you. For him to reply. I can't begin anything. I can't do anything. Do you think I have to write to him again? What can I do? I'm so afraid. Started on a name. Dimitri, after my father. Dimitri. 
They were right. I didn't expect to feel like this. How do you feel? Afraid? <laughs> Dimitri. Snuff box. You don't use snuff. Now she knows me so well, you see. Have you ever used snuff? No, my father did. My mother was never able to buy me presents. When I was at the academy, all the other young cadets were given food parcels from home. My mother sent me monogrammed handkerchiefs to have in the bag. <laughs> oh, poor sweet smelling boy. <laughs> the scrupulously clean nose. My mother always wanted me to live la vie parisienne. <laughs> Walks down boulevards, <laughs> elegant chit chats in pastry shop, pretty little princess for a wife. Pretty little princess. Pretty little princess Solikina. My mother wants you to be happy. No, not. Anna. You should marry her. She's young, she's very pretty. Yeah, like the only person I want to marry is you, and I will marry you as soon as you're divorced. And if I can't get a divorce. Then we stay as we are. We can't stay as we are. You know it. Anna, it's not my fault. And I can't even see my son. And you beat me down. I mean, you're destroying me. He can't leave me hanging on like this. I lost Diva. If anyone can. Oh, God. And try and see Sergio when he's there. And, and remember to give him this. And try and find out anything you can, where he is, who he's with, what he's wearing, anything, anything at all. And, and Steve, if it's possible for me to see him. Don't worry, he's going to be fine. you to have pity on her. On Anna? What do you mean? You're a kind man. A Christian. Yes, but what do you mean exactly? Have pity on her. It seems to me she has everything she wanted. I've spent the winter in Moscow with her. Her situation is awful. Your sister's life is of no interest to me at all. I'm her brother. I love her. I beg you to set her free. You promised. Alexei, it's making her ill. It's like keeping a man in a death cell with a noose around his neck, telling him every day a pardon's on its way. There can be no pardon. I had no right to promise. So you take it back? I had no right. As a believer, I can't disregard Christian law. Divorce is permitted by our church? Yes, it's permitted. And her son? I don't wish to have this conversation. I need... Can I see him? I need time to think. I need guidance. Can I see my nephew? We never mentioned his mother. Hello.
You remember me? Yes, Uncle. Stand up. Let me have a look at you. Why, you've grown tall. Your mother sent you this. I can't take it. I'm not allowed to. Well. She doesn't want to be apart from you, Seriosha. She loves you more than anything else in the whole wide world. Come here. Remember, one day you'll be grown up. And if you want to see her, she'll be waiting for you. Good boy. You don't understand why it's taken Alexei so long to reply to your sister's letter. Uh, no, I don't. That's because you don't realize how Alexei has changed, how his heart has changed. I know it's been hard for him, but... But good has come out of this misfortune. His heart is new and filled with God. He knows now that it was wrong to say he would divorce her. Let not the wife depart from her husband. If she depart, let her not remarry. Let not the husband put away his wife. You should stone her too, I suppose. There can be no divorce. Alexei, don't do this to her, please. please I beg it's my final word on the matter. You have your answer. Now go. May God forgive you both. Lydia! Did you have a good day? Uh, what's this? I went for a drive. Spring is coming. Spring? Oh, really? And I long to be in the country. I see. It came to me like an inspiration. Why stay in town waiting for a divorce when one can wait just as well in the country? Better, in fact. So, uh, when shall we go? The sooner the better. We can be ready by tomorrow or the day after. Fine. No, wait a moment. Uh, the day after tomorrow is Sunday. And I have to see my mother in the country on Sunday. Why? There are some papers I need to look at and she needs to sign in connection with the horses that I'm selling for her. Why can't she come to Moscow? Uh, I think I owe her a little respect. Respect was invented to fill the space where love should be. If you don't love me anymore, why don't you just come out and say so? I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about my mother. I know why she doesn't want to come to town. Why she wants you to get there on your own. What she wants? To get you together with Princess Sorokina, who just happens to live nearby. <laughs> Everyone thinks I'm a fool. Well, I'm not. All right. If you must go, go tomorrow. Papers won't be ready by tomorrow. Then we won't go at all. What? I won't wait any longer. Tomorrow or the next day, or I'm not going. Why is that? It makes no sense. Well, it makes no sense because you don't care about me. Oh, God, Anna! What? I don't know what you want of me! I want you to stay with me. I don't want you to abandon me like you're thinking of doing. No, no, it's not even that. What I want is love and it's not there. And everything is finished. I should have died. I mean, why didn't I die? Stop! Please, Betsy, and all her friends will be when they hear yeah, what? Oh, how you've left me and you've taken up with someone else. How much more of this am I expected to take? Not much more. I'm sorry. Let's go tomorrow if you want to. I'll do anything, but I'm sorry. You should leave me. I drag you down. Goodbye.
better off without me. I want you to be happy. I want you to be free. And then if you love someone else... Please, believe me. You have absolutely no reason to be jealous. I love you and I will always love you. Telegram for you, sir. Imagine how I've come to loathe these rooms. No individuality. No soul. What's the matter? There's been a telegram from Stephen. Gwen said no. Doesn't say that. There's no need to hide this from me. I wasn't hiding it. What other telegrams and letters have you hidden from me? God's sake, Anna! It says it doesn't look hopeful, but he'll do everything that he can. Oh, it's a steamer trying to soften the blow. It, it doesn't matter. Well, it matters to me and it matters to our children. Children? There aren't going to be any more children. That's a great pity. Well, you, you think about yourself. You think about the children. You don't think about me. Like your mother. Cold, calculating, cruel. Don't talk about my mother like that. You don't respect you don't love her. It's a liar. I don't lie. You're a liar. That's what I think. Then it's over. Yes, I know. That's not what I was going to say. After everything we've been through, after everything we've given up, don't leave me. Did you say something? No. Shall I light the lamp, madam? If Count Vronsky comes back, tell him I have a headache and don't want to be disturbed. You sure? If he comes to me despite the message, it means that he still loves me. It doesn't. It proves that it's over. Don't do it. It's not right. Never spent a day apart in anger before. Sorry, sir. Madam has a headache and she's asked me to tell her she'd rather not be disturbed tonight. Well, 
Good night, sir. Thank you. It was the Princess Sorokina bringing the papers from my mother. I couldn't get them yesterday. How's your head today? Better? We are still going tomorrow, aren't we?
tell me what to do. Find out what the Count's got at once. He's gone to the stables, madam. Wait a minute. Yes, ma'am. Take this to him at the stables. Once. Yes, madam, at once. He'll be back soon. He mustn't see me like this. Yes? He wasn't there, madam. He'd already left for the station. What shall I do with the letter? Take it to the Countess Franskaya's house. Go on the train and bring back the answer at once. Yes, madam. about me and now he's ashamed my love grows and his dwindles I want him to give himself up to me completely and he wants to get away oh he'll be back tonight you can make it up for him I can't wait again I'll go to him before leaving him for good I'll tell him everything I must go I leave now. I need to know whether he still loves me. I'll meet him at the station or, or at his mother's house. If it's finished, I'll go to the next station or the next town or whatever. station.
Madam. Madam. I delivered your note. And? The Count said he can't return before 10 o'clock tonight. It's what I expected. You may go home. Carriage. Yes, madam. Who's it here for? It's here to collect the Princess Sodomy. goes on without her. Oh, sweet. Oh. Brave volunteers, you should know that the people are with you. Money is being raised at balls, concerts, dinners, restaurants, everywhere the bright-minded people are gathered. Already, some one million rubles has been collected. <laughs> Will we stand by and let our fellow Slavs be slaughtered? I have here the latest dispatch from the front. The Turks have been beaten at all points. <laughs> Mother Moscow blesses you in this great and noble enterprise. God save the Tsar! Please. You volunteered? Yes. I'm taking a squadron with me. You have a son now? Yes. Where's your daughter? Karenin has her. He came for her when... when I could do nothing about it. She was never mine by law. 
You met Anna, didn't you? Once. What did you think of her? I thought she was magnificent. They took her to a railway shed, put her on a table. I try to remember her as she was when I first met her. This war is a godsend for me. It's given me a way out. I don't want to live anymore, so I may as well die being of some use to somebody. God grant me peace. That's the first time you've held him. Sovronsky at the station in Moscow today. He's joined up. He's gone to the Balkans to fight the Turks. It's brave of him. No. He's not brave. He wants to die. I prayed. When Dmitri was being born, I thought I was going to lose you both. And I prayed. I know your lack of faith torments you. Why do you smile when you say it? Because your soul is dearer to me than anything in the world. Think too much. What counts is what's in here. And you're the kindest man I know. The rest will follow. You think so? 